Hello Libra, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for um, uh, June, is it June or July? I would write it in the description. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well guys feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading it is time stamp okay this um section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera so if you click in the description bar below see where it says uh start reading click on that and it will bring you to the start of the reading like i said this section is really for those that just kind of you know they prefer to see me shuffle on camera in case, as I always say, you know, just take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. Okay. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, you can stick around and sometimes, you know, there could be just messages for a while that jump out and speak to you. I'll clarify. If I need to clarify these, I'll add that. But, um, yeah, let me just take these in and I'll be back. All right, so Libra, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So, there's something around this um, relationship at one point where you felt you had to, there was this level of strength that you needed to either contain the inner beast. So when we're talking about containing the, the inner beast, we're talking about containing yourself from responding in a certain way. Well, that could just, and so there was this level of strength, mental strength that you needed to kind of just contain that um, or just, this thinking around having the need to be strong in some way, because I feel like at one point, at one point, yeah, yeah, you know, there's acknowledgement that there was emotional fulfillment here, uh, but there's something that happened that kind of overshadowed that with the two of swords there, which kind of put a halt to this. And with that halt, it's kind of caused you to be indecisive. It's, it caused you to be back and forth on, just unsure, indecisive, back and forth, not sure about whether you can actually have whatever it is that you're feeling like you wanted to have with this person, whatever that Queen of Pentacles represents. Queen of Pentacles represents, you know, established something, something that you put work into, a business, a relationship, whatever the case may be. But something that you wanted to establish, you had put in work, but it just kind of wasn't, it didn't bring about the results that you, that you wanted, really. Like I said, something happened that overshadowed this fulfillment that you thought, that you was in this, I don't, I don't want to say bubble, but you know, this, this, um, you was heading somewhere with this person, but something happened. So now it's like this feeling of, okay, I'm processing this. I'm indecisive. I'm going back and forth. I'm unsure, uh, because there's been work that's been put into this and it's not materialized. It's not turned out the way I would have liked. Yeah. There's a little bit of hope there as well, though. But again, we've got this indecisive energy, that chariot energy, that back and forth, in and out, hot and cold, on and off. One minute you feel one way, one minute you think another, that type of thing. Uh, where with your person, there's acknowledgement of disappointment there. There's, there's acknowledgement of disappointment. I feel like this is disappointment in their actions around something. Still drawn towards you. Um, but, you know, there's this awareness for them that you know, it's either frustration or minor conflict, a bit of drama that's gone on. Uh, again, I feel like this person's acknowledging that they played a part in that. I feel like, you know, it takes two to tango, but I feel like there's acknowledgement on that, on their part. Libra, still wanting to put into this. Feeling like you've gone cold on them as well. Feeling like you've kind of gone, gone cold on them with the, with the Queen of Swords there. You know, but regardless of that, they're, they're still wanting the Empress. The Empress is kind of just mirroring that uh, Queen of Pentacles. Uh, the Empress is about buffing of something, the buffing of something. Level of determination to have that. 
regardless of how challenging it gets as well, this, this wanting to hold on, still holding on to this, still holding on to this. You, you've kind of gotten yourself into a place where, because now you're kind of showing up as a six. So you've kind of gotten yourself into a place where you're willing to move on. You're willing to move forward um, with this person, regardless of the cracks that has been shown uh, Libra, regardless of the cracks that's being shown. Like I said, some things that's overshadowed. It's like, it's like, you know, things are going on. Uh, it's like being in the honeymoon stages of a relationship when you first meet someone and then something happens and it kind of shows, you know, the cracks in a relationship or, or the realness of someone. It's, it's kind of like that. It's like you're, you've been uh, woken up or you see things that you hadn't seen before that wasn't that you did, yeah, because like, I feel like it was always there, but, you know, as they say, love is blind or whatever the case may be. But you're still willing to move forward, move ahead, regardless of that awareness or the the awareness of those cracks being shown because your thinking is around, you know, starting starting new. Let's, 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 giving this person another chance, let's say that. Giving this person another chance, you know, wanting to move forward, like I said, still got the six of swords there um go going down a new path i'm not sure whether this person is presenting this is for some of you this person is presented maybe an idea or um a different way of doing something which causes you or that inspires this as well but i feel like with the shadow card there um, and this is this is this is important here. This is the uh, the important part here is that there's some you're not you're not you're kind of looking to mm, how do I put that? You acknowledge the cracks, but you're choosing to not see them. It's like you're wanting to overshadow them. You're not wanting to see them. Look past them. There we go. You wanted to kind of look past them and move forward. That's what it is. You wanted to look past them and move forward. And your person is, you know, whoever this is, they're doing what needs to be done to maintain, to move forward, to kind of build in this new direction. Their focus is very much on putting in the work, whatever work that's needed, you know, transforming this relationship, you know, focusing on changing things acknowledging that there's been an ending to some things. I feel like maybe some idea or the newness of something naturally has caused the death of something. Um, and they wanted to move ahead with that. There is this emperor stance that they do have. It's like this person is very serious about this. They're, you know, doing what needs to be done. They're taking this very seriously in there. Yeah, they're taking this very seriously. There is this element of them being slow in their emotions, though, in terms of making a decision around something. I feel like this person is more controlled this time around when it comes to their emotions with that empathy there, which is causing them to kind of slow down on expressing that or just, it's not even so much maybe expressing it, it could be for some of you, but this is also about feeling it. There we go, feeling it and, and letting it and go with it, letting it flow. Uh, there's a slowness, there's a pullback on that. Again, I feel like it's to do with, and that's a conscious choice as well, which, you know, they feel is going to change and they want things to turn around. As you guys progress, then that would naturally change. I feel like that cautiousness is naturally coming from just where you guys are coming from when it comes to this relationship. You're wanting to advance, you know, you're wanting to advance. You're wanting to come out on top or just get on top of this tower that came out for you. You know, and it's like, I don't want to say forcing yourself because it's for some of you, it might be, it might be forcing yourself to believe that things are going to work out. Things are going to be okay. But my thing is for this, and this is me just kind of putting it on the table. Yeah. When it comes to you not wanting to acknowledge things cracked, what does that mean? Does that mean that you're not going to have a conversation with this person about this? It does it mean that you're going to because it's you know when we're talking about the shadow card not wanting to acknowledge something or moving forward anyway it's like okay i'm going to put that there but it's still going to be there 
but I'm going to move forward with it being there. And, you know, if it comes up again, if it, not even if, because it will come up again, because it's not being looked at, it's not being communicated, it's not being discussed, it's not being acknowledged, it's not being fixed, you know. And I say that simply because when this thing came up that overshadowed that emotional fulfillment, or so whatever this something that came up, it caused you to be indecisive, which clearly has had an impact on you in some way. So I don't think I don't think it's it will take much to just have a discussion about this with this person about how it maybe really made you feel what you're feeling really about this. Yeah, I'm just a bit concerned about you moving forward while pushing that under the the rug, pushing the cracks under the rug. Yeah. So usually we kind of move into part two of the reading where we kind of just expand on this, see where you guys go to, um, which I will be for those that are interested. Uh, I will be implementing that next week, guys, so look out for that. But as it stands, yeah, like I said, you know, you guys are, are moving forward. But like I said, acknowledge, don't look past whatever this is. Take it, you know, acknowledge it, accept it, communicate it if it needs to be communicated to um, or just if that's something that you need to work through within your own mind, because for some of you it is, you're just not willing to look at it because of what it might mean. But it will crop up again. Don't worry about that. <laughs> so it's best you do it now. Yeah, so um, hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you next week.